Catching criminals isn't hard. Just draw them really badly and then guess who the bad guy is. It's easy. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kid and welcome back to Draw the Criminal. I'm gonna draw some criminals. Deceivingly cold delinquent. What does that mean? What, like, he's just cold? How, okay. Does that mean that he's living in an ice cube? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna draw a person living in a giant ice cube. Brilliant. That is a block of ice in case you were wondering. Duh. Why did I even have to explain it? Because it is so obvious what it is. Even though they were wearing a sweater. Okay. All right. Fair enough. What color was this sweater? It doesn't tell me. It doesn't matter. We're going to go with brown. I'm about to ruin my beautiful artistic rendition of a ice cube, which is kind of a bummer, but it sort of works. Oh, what? It was either light or dark brown. Got kind of fortunate with that one. Uh, so I'll just color like one half of their sweatshirt in this color and then the other half of their sweatshirt in this color. That is beautiful art. We're gonna get ya. What does it mean if they're cold? Oh, I guess they're shivering and perhaps cold like breath is, is coming out. Why would they be the only one who has the cold breath, but nobody else does. That is, that is actually very confusing. It's not this dude though, cause he's not wearing a sweatshirt. He's a fraud. You're wearing a brown sweatshirt, but you're just stinky. Go take a shower, you weirdo. This guy's cold, but he looks like he just came back from like some kind of Apple Corporation event. And perhaps they were showing off some kind of new 3D iMac Pro. And it was also very cold in the building. I'm reading too much into that guy. Uh, you! You! Wait, no, that's not a sweatshirt, that's a trench coat. Also, you're a cowboy. Cowgirl, my bad. Uh, this person. Y you are the criminal we are looking for. Also, she looks like a UPS delivery person. You're under arrest, ma'am. Yes, okay. That Keeping the 100% record of capturing criminals going going strong i don't even know what happens when you catch the wrong person i kind of mm, i don't know i i want to try but also like that's 35 arrests in a row that's a pretty good track record i should change up my look sergeant joan jones now i am ninja sergeant joan jones next case the casual crook he just Casually, I'm going to rob you. The crook's hair was covered. Okay, that's vague. I'm gonna put a pink little cap on your head. How's that sound? Yeah, nailed it. Or his hair is made of cotton candy. They were wearing orange or gray clothes. Why? How do you get those two colors mixed up? They're so distinct. All right, fine. Um, I'm gonna draw a shirt that is half gray, like that, beautiful. And then the other half, of course, orange, which is very, it, it's, it's definitely a bold look, I would say. Next, I remember they did have a long nose. Okay, give them big old Pinocchio nose there. I'm a real boy. No, you're not Pinocchio, that's a lie. And, they had a single lens covering their eye? Okay. So I guess I gotta draw eyes. And then to depict a single lens over one of the eyes. Oh, they're like the Monopoly guy. I get it. I'm on to you now, criminal. I don't think it's you because I can see your hair, but I see what you're going for. It's not you, it's not you. We're looking, remember, we're looking for Monopoly guys. It could be you. You are wearing gray. He doesn't have a long nose though. He's not Pinocchio. Nope, get out of my face. Could it be you? No, it's not him. He, uh, he doesn't have a long nose. Aha, aha, I'm on to you, casual criminal. I wonder why he's so casual about it. 
He's like, hey, are you having a good day? Yeah, I'm having a great day. Okay, good. Um, I'm about to rob you. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. Give me all your money. Sure. All right, I'm going to go now. Um, You can call the police after I leave. That was my recreation of uh, the casual criminal committing a casual crime. Thank you. No, please hold your applause. I know. It's definitely him, right? Like, hair is covered, long nose, Monopoly guy, lens, which is a very weird look, but more power to ya. And he's wearing orange and not wearing gray. This is our guy. Arrest him. Get him out of here, throw him in the slammer, and different types of slang that you can use to indicate someone is going to prison. I gotta get more prison slang. That's, that's what I need to do next. Man, I have so much money that I cannot spend on anything. $50,000 just burning a hole in my pocket. Come on, game. Update with like new things that I can buy. Either way, I'm having a great time. The thing that's so cool about this game is that as long as it keeps giving me new cases to draw, I'm having a great time because it's, you know, challenging my artistic skills. Let's go lockdown rule, rule breaker. Lockdown rule breaker. I don't know why I had a hard time saying that. I know they were wearing green. Okay, sure. But what was the thing that they were wearing that was green? I know what it was. It was green spiky shoulder pads. Actually kind of looking like Bowser. <laughs> Next. They were dressed for hot weather. Huh? I guess, well, maybe that means that they were wearing shorts. Does that mean they were wearing shorts? Or does it mean they were wearing like a short sleeve shirt? I don't know. I'm gonna go with green shorts. Okay. And they had light hair. Great. What was the hairstyle? We're gonna go with pigtails, but only pigtails. Like they were completely bald, but they just had pigtails coming out of the side of their heads. I don't know why they had more than one head though. I, I can't explain that. Who did it? You're not wearing green. Get out of my face. I don't know why I get so rude to the people who are not the criminals. Like the innocent people who have been forced to stand in this lineup. I'm like, get them out of here. They're just doing their civic duty, completely innocent of any kind of crime. And I'm being rude to them for no reason. I'm gonna keep going with it. You, okay, you, you, I think are the criminal. You look like you're dressed for warm weather. Look, you're even wearing sunglasses. You're spending the day at the beach. You got light hair. You're wearing green shorts, which I completely and perfectly replicated in my drawing rendition of this individual. Also, if you look real close, you have to like squint like really hard. I'm pretty sure they have little green spikes coming out of their shoulders. They're very, very small though, like microscopic. Take her away. 37 arrests. Look at me go. The mysterious motorcyclist. Ooh, that sounds edgy. Whoa, the offender was in dark clothes. Hold on. Someone in dark clothes riding a motorcycle? I know exactly who it is. And it's not who you think it might be because this person proposes and sells themselves as a hero. Oh yeah? Well, I'm on to you, Mr. Hero. That's right. It's the Batman. I know his real name, Bruce Wayne. You can't tell anybody though, that, that'll be our little secret. I did go see the Batman movie recently, so Batman is on my mind, but dark clothes on a motorcycle. Yeah, this is Batman, this is 100% Batman. What's the next hint? Ooh, he had a cape. He was dressed smartly, that's right. Batman, the world's greatest detective. Well, who's the greatest detective now? He dresses smartly. He's always prepared, has his, his bat utility belt so let's see let's see if i can actually draw a proper batman okay wait i gotta give him a cape right that's that's step one so i'm just gonna do the best i can maybe this might turn out looking a little bit more like a a chibi batman not quite the edgy batman that everybody has grown to to adore recently this will be a, a slightly cuter version of batman and a slightly more cursed version of batman I would suggest that if you're going out to fight crime, wearing a cape and a bulletproof suit is probably dressing smartly. I'm just saying. This is actually starting to come together in a way that I was not expecting. Oh man, this makes me happy. And then of course, you gotta have the bat symbol on his chest. 
Nailed it! Let's see what our next hint is. Uh, they had been in a bike accident. Oh. I think it already sort of is depicted here. We'll just remember that hint. Uh, luckily they were wearing a helmet. The, the bat mask? It's a helmet. It's all built in there. It's real hard. It's bulletproof, which makes it motorcycle crash proof as well. So basically, uh, we nailed it. This criminal is a million percent the Batman trying to fool us. Oh, I'm a hero. I'm vengeance. I am the protector of the city. Blah, 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 blah. You're a criminal. Are you Bruce Wayne? <laughs> this might be Bruce Wayne uh, looking at us right now. Surprise, Bruce Wayne is a woman. I know. What were the actual <laughs> hints? Wait, okay, so it was dark clothes, dressed smartly, looked like they got in an accident, and then wearing a helmet. So, I don't know. I mean, she does look like she fits most of those descriptions, but she doesn't have bat ears. We'll come back to her. It, it could be her. I can't, I can't look at you and think, wow, that's a really smart person. Are you dressed smartly? He's wearing dark clothes. He has a bruised eye, um, which I guess means that they got in an accident. The clothes are dark. Does the, do the glasses mean that they're smart? I, I don't know about this one. I think it's this person. I think this is Bruce Wayne, but like old Bruce Wayne in the future. There's nothing about what she is wearing that screams dressed smartly. Whereas this guy, I mean, the only thing I can think of is uh, the glasses. You know what? I'm going to go with it. Are you Bruce Wayne? Have we discovered the identity of the Batman? Yes, we have. Throw him in jail. Your billions of dollars aren't going to protect you now, Mr. Wayne. Enjoy your time in the slammer. Say hi to the Joker for me. <laughs> I actually don't know that much about Batman. Let's go with the award show swindler. That sounds real good and it's a special case. The thief had red hair. Easy enough. And that's exactly what their hairstyle was. With freckles on their face. Okay. They also had a tie on. Okay. My tie designs are very fancy. Sometimes I even like to add a little heart. What? That's it? That's all the info you're going to give me? Okay. We can work with this. We can work with this. Red hair. You. Tie? Check. Freckles? Check. Red hair? Check. This guy has a mullet. Good for you. More power to you. All right. You're going down, bud. <laughs> How many is that? How many in a 40 arrests? I cannot be stopped. I'm glad I can do my part making this world a better place.